So we all want our kids to do what we want them to do, but their independence sometimes gets in the way, doesn't it? Parents sometimes have a sense of ownership over their kids, but Richard and Linda Iyer are back on the show. They say no more ownership, parents out there. We want stewardship. What is the difference, you well, two? Well, yeah, think about the concept for a minute. If you if you perceive yourself as an owner, everything becomes a competition. You, you're, you're envious of some people. You're condescending to other people. I have more than you do. I have less than you do. So the book Happiness Paradox is about changing your attitude from ownership to stewardship, which means I have a responsibility, but I don't really own anything. Things pass through me. I'm humble about it, you know. Well, I think a lot of parents out there, I mean, Linda, don't you think think that they should be owning and with little kids, well, they, they feel own like, it, yeah, they, they feel, feel like, like they should. You do what I say because I own you. And, and not only that, I mean, sometimes we want our kids to be us, you know. We want, them, we want to make them into who we want them to be. And that's just not the way it is. Everyone is so unique. They come who they are. We're just stewards over well, who, it, they, who they become. And it disrespects kids when, when they're your little owner thing that you, you know, you own them. Mm -hmm. That, that there's something about a lack of respect there that kids feel. And on the other hand, when you feel like, I'm a steward, I have a stewardship over you, but you could have come to the earth before me and then you'd be my parent. If it's, it's kind of a thing like, <laughs> uh, you're little and you're young, but you're equal to me okay. and I respect you. So is there an attitude shift that has to happen it's when you huge change amount. over to that? And how do you do that as that, a parent? You know, that people look for methods and techniques in parenting. Sometimes a change in your attitude changes everything. Mm. If you just take a look at the same kid you looked at yesterday, only think, I'm not your owner, I'm a steward over you. You're equal to me, you could be my my parent, if you'd come sooner, suddenly your whole approach to that child will change. And, and did you how, do this with your kids? Yeah, well, we try to. I mean, you tr what you say is, how can I make you the best you can be? You know, I, I'm going to help you do that instead of you've got to do this and this and this in order to live up to what I want you to do. It really it makes a huge difference, just that mindset. Which sometimes means changing your, you, know, you don't say my son the lawyer, my daughter the surgeon. You start saying, who are you really? And how can I make you become your best thing, oh, not what so I'd wait, like you're to you're talking be. not just about toddlers, but teenagers and adult oh, yeah, children. Right? Oh, yes. Adult absolutely. children, too. Yeah. yeah you Gosh, gotta let them go. This is a great topic, though. I mean, I, I think there's so many times where we think our children are who we think they are, but we need to ask them yeah. who they are and who they want to not be. Not only ask them, but watch them and figure out where their real gifts lie, not the gifts you wish they had, but who What they if really Fortnite are. is a real gift? Well... <laughs> no, no, no. It can't. That, that's not a gift. I mean, he is good at it. I mean, he is very talented at Fortnite. I find, like, I have to practice listening now that I have teenagers yes. rather than talking. Yes. That's where my attitude Show me shifted. what you did yes. the other day. Here's so, your yes. practice. So I was with the counselor, and she was asking asking about plans for college because I have a junior in high school now yeah. and I wanted to tell the counselor her plans and I but it's not about me it's uh, her exactly. and I had to practice going perfect, perfect. Right. and, and then perfect. Natalie talked when you didn't talk <laughs> yes and right. then another thing to practice is the word really really is the greatest really. word because you, you don't direct anything <laughs> and you can say it a million yeah. different ways you can say really <laughs> Really? Or just really. <laughs> or just really. 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 Uh -huh. really. So their book, everybody, I love it because you flip one side and it's the paradox and the other side. I mean, it, this this people need to see. Um, where can they get it? And is it about parenting and happiness or a little bit of both? It's a little bit of both. both. Parenting yeah. is happiness. Yeah, Come it on. is. There's, Isn't it? There's, sure. There's, it's awesome. You can it get sure it on Amazon. Be. I think it's on the, the, the Good Things Utah website. So Fabulous. The happiness so happy to paradox. See you guys. Good to see you. Yeah, I just got back from Hawaii. Oh, no poor wonder things. you look happy. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> I know. That's part of the happiness. Right there. <laughs> Good to see you guys. <laughs> All right, coming up next, tech items.